So this little palette decided to make some pit stops, I guess, while we were waiting on it because it decided to take almost two weeks to get to me. I've never waited that long um, for an order. I don't know. It was partying on the way, I guess. I have no idea, but what's up you guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be diving into the garden variety by ColourPop palette um i went ahead and picked up this and i picked up the little duo it has the tearing up my heart um blush and then it also has the blossom out lip oil so yeah and then i am gonna be doing a giveaway i bought an extra palette just because i felt like doing something little so this is the uh look i did come up with today if you are interested then of course as always go ahead and keep watching Okay, so I do already have my um, base on um, and then of course I'm just like cleaning up my contour and then I have powder under their eye just in case there's fallout. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do today, but we are going to just go ahead and dive into it. This um, green color is really calling my name. Okay, so we're just going to build that color up until it's where I'm like liking it. Y'all don't mind my hair, I'm gonna fix that later. <laughs> so far they're blending out like really good. Um, this is my first palette from ColourPop I've ever gotten for myself although it did take forever to get to me I was so mad um, I'm gonna take an M506 and we're gonna dip into clay day Tap of water excess. and then just go a little bit below um, those first two shades we dipped into I do also want to point out, um, I'm sure a lot of people have tried ColourPop. For me, this is my first palette I've ever purchased from them. Um, that other palette I used in like my more natural uh, makeup look, um, that was my daughter's and I just like, I don't know, the shades were very neutral. So I was like, oh, this palette would be good. But this is my first palette for myself. But I do want to point out, which I'm sure most people know because ColourPop is pretty popular. Um, there is fallout, as you can see in this shade right here. Um, I've already dusted away like in these two shades. But yeah, there is quite a bit of fallout if that bothers you. <sighs> Personally, it don't bother me. I just blow it off. What am I going to take? Suck up for you. And it's just a little bit deeper um, than that last shade we used. And I'm going to pop it right here. I'm actually going to also, after this, um, dip into um, the next one, Stuck on You. It's literally right next to Suck Up For You. And uh, just to see how that looks. The green shade called Best Buds is actually really calling my name. Oh, well, there it is. I'm going to pop that right there. I'm actually gonna um, dip into, I think I'm gonna dip into um, Wavelength. 
bloom on the bottom. And I'm just gonna brush this uh, stuck on you shade uh, really like at the, at the um, corner, outer corner. I'm not gonna take that all the way in. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest off camera. Um, come back and I will show y'all the blush and lip oil. Okay, so I'm back and um, I did already, you know, of course, do the rest of my face. Um, for my lip, I filled it in with the Wet n Wild Lip Liner in 711 Chestnut. Um, and the only reason I did that is because this is a lip oil. We're gonna be diving into the blush and lip oil and this came as um, like packaged together as a little set. And this is in al aloe there. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, I don't know if y'all could see the name. It shows it right there. And it is in tearing up my heart, the blush and the lip oil is in blossom out. Yeah, this is not showing up on my skin tone, um, but I mean, I don't know, but yeah, it's not showing up. Um, what I am going to do is dip into, because I just want something a little bit there, um, I'm going to dip into Over the Bloom, which is this color right here, and I'm just going to put that on like this brush. This brush I'm using doesn't have a specific name. I've had this thing forever. It's freaking cheap, but I don't know why I like it for blush. Okay, and that one you could see a little bit more. So yeah, that pink for a blush. I usually do that too. Like when I do a look, um, this shade I have in like my uh, like crease area, like blend it up. Um, and I usually put those like as my blush, we use the eyeshadow for blush. I don't know. I like how it matches. I feel like it pulls the look together. Highlighter today that I finally got my hands on. You can pair this by itself, but I, I don't know. I want it to put like a liner underneath and. They don't feel sticky at all. So, so far so good. Okay, so as you can see, this is the finished look. Um, I just threw, a, well, I already told you the names. Anywho, um, I did like the way it came out. Um, it's not my favorite, but um, I'm not mad at it. So overall, um, like I said, there are 18 shades in here. This palette does retail for $20. And then of course with the 10% off, um, I think it brings it down to like 18. So the price isn't bad. A lot of you I'm sure have experienced ColourPop and we could all agree on that the pricing for their stuff is pretty good. Um, you do get what you pay for it. The quality is good. So yeah, uh, for it being my first palette, um, it's okay. Uh, depending on what they, they're always coming out with launches. So depending on what they launch, if it catches my eye, I'll purchase it. It's not something like I wouldn't ever buy from again. Um, the packaging for this collection, I really do enjoy it. Um, the like flowers are like rays, kind of like 3D. And um, it does have all the shades on the back as well as inside the palette. So the packaging is an A plus for me. I really enjoy it. Uh, it's very pretty. It really does scream garden <laughs> as well as if you open it. Um, when I look at this, I, I see a garden, <laughs> a pretty colorful flower. So it does live up to his name. I will give it that. I know earlier y'all saw me with the liner and i think i told you it was the liner and the lip oil from this uh, little duo collection the blush did not show up on me so more than likely i will not be using that again i'll probably pass it down on to my younger sister because she is lighter than me and then the lip oil i liked the um what do you call it i like the way it applied but i mean again it's not like oh my god you gotta have it like 
it was all right but overall um yeah i'm gonna be passing this down because that just did not show up on me so like i said because i wasn't so fond about this uh lip oil either i did change my lip i just wasn't liking the way um the way it went with this eye look it was too brown for it i wanted something more pinky so i did use the lipstick by kkw it is shade one pink um i just threw that over and lightly lined with um the morphe pencil it's by frenchie i believe yeah it's called frenchie i just lightly lined and then threw this in the middle and just tapped it out and i just feel like it goes a lot better than what that brownish shade you know so that's why you are seeing a different lip combo so yeah that is um gonna be it for today um let's go ahead and jump into the giveaway okay so for the giveaway um here is the palette i am gonna keep it in this little bubble wrap um obviously we already saw you know the one i had so we need to keep this one you know safe <laughs> But yeah, um, the only thing I am going to ask is for three rules. One, subscribe to my channel um, down below. Two, follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Roxy J. And then when you are done, comment down below on this video and leave your Instagram name and saying that you are done. That will enter you in. And once I see that, um, we'll go from there and pick somebody i don't know if i'm gonna do it on camera i don't know i'll I have to figure that part out but i am gonna keep this giveaway open for a week so today is the 19th i will keep it going until august 26th i will leave all the rules down below so if you are interested go ahead and enter and yeah i hope y'all enjoy today's look good luck to everybody and as usual if y'all like today's look let me also know down below but other than that, that is all I have to say. I hope y'all enjoyed today's look as always. And until the next one, I'll see you next time. Bye.